What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Sports TV. And I am back with another video. Before I get into the video, go ahead and smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button in that post notification bell button to be notified. Also, head over to Instagram right now. Follow me there at Colossal underscore Sports TV. Links will be in the description below so you can do all that. Um, also, go like my Facebook page, Colossal Sports TV. That will also be in the link down below. But anyway, man. Fight Hub TV, I linked the interview in the description below as well. Shout out to them. Uh, they did an interview with Oscar De La Hoya at last night's um, Jojo Diaz fight. Um, and they asked him about a potential fight between WBF, I mean IBF, welterweight champion, Errol the True Spence, and Canelo Alvarez. And Oscar De La Hoya said, that he would love to make that fight. He would absolutely make it. He called it a super fight. Um, Spence has gone on record in the past and said that he would love to fight Canelo Alvarez in Dallas at the Cowboys Stadium. We all know that Canelo Alvarez has fought at the Dallas Cowboys football stadium before against Liam Smith. It may have been, um, he may have had another fight there, um, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. And if he has, let me know in the comment section down below. And we know that. Errol Spence is just coming off of a one-round destruction of Carlos Ocampo at the uh, Cowboys, you know, practice facility arena where he put, like, tens of fifteens of thousands of asses in those seats. Uh, he's from Dallas. They fucks with him hard. Um, and, you know, Texas in general has a huge um, Hispanic Mexican population. Uh, that's why you see Canelo. He didn't fall. In San Antonio against Austin Trout, he's fought in Houston against uh, James Kirkland, and he's fought in, da fought in Dallas against Liam Smith. So he's definitely a high commodity there, as well as, you know, Vegas, as well as California. I mean, you know, there's a heavy uh, Hispanic Mexican population around the world over here in the States. And, you know, Canelo is a big draw, the biggest draw in boxing other than Anthony Joshua. And this fight would be huge. It would be huge, and I would love to see the fight. But I got to caution, and I got to keep it 100. They have work to do in their respective divisions. Canelo is preparing for a rematch with Gennady Golovkin. There is no guarantee he's going to win. There is no guarantee he, he, he'll he win that fight. Although, even if he does lose, it's Canelo we're talking about. He is a walking check for anybody that's looking to get paid. He's the guy you're going to want to um, go uh, try to see if you can reach an agreement with. But even after that, you got Jamal Charlo who's there, Daniel Jacobs who's there. Um, you got a potential Jaime Mugea fight. Uh, there's a lot of, you got Demetrius Andre, Billy Joe Saunders, who going to be fighting for that WBO or, yeah, WBO title. That Saunders is going to be defended in a few months. So it's a lot of uh, big fights at 160 that he needs to focus on and he can elect to fa uh, take instead of facing um, a welterweight. And Spence, who I believe at the end of the day can, you know, uh, fight at, you know, middleweight. But he needs to, you know, Focus on what he got to do at 147, which is take care of Keith Thurman whenever he comes back. Uh, take care of Bud Crawford, which is a 50-50 fight. A lot of people feel that Bud can beat him. You know, you got Danny Garcia, Sean Porter winner, who's going to be the WBC champion. You know, there's a lot of moving parts in both of these respective divisions that each fighter needs to focus on. And while I and so many other boxing fans will would love to see this fight, I think that it's, it's important that they handle business where they're at right now to build up this fight even more and really get their demand and not just make it just because they can and, and whatnot. At least let it let it build by y'all taking care of y'all business, becoming unified, undisputed, you know, champions in y'all division, taking out the top dogs in y'all division, having the fans, you know, demand and, you know, request this fight. Then that's when the fight should happen because this fight, if both guys keep winning, it's going to be huge regardless. But Canelo Alvarez, he got middleweight problems. Jamal Charlo, Daniel Jacobs, uh, Billy Joe Saunders, Demetrius Andre. Hell, uh, the motherfucker uh, that's fighting Daniel Jacobs. Um, what's my man's name? Shit, I can't think of his name off the back. Uh, yeah, Sergey Dervichenko, him too. 
You know, he's a very good fighter. And you got Hammond Mogea, who's going to always be there. Um, even though he had 154, he's a huge 154-pounder. They can easily transition up to 160. He's Mexican. He's the WBO junior middleweight champion. Um, and I think that that fight is going to be huge, whether it's in you know Mexico or wherever. Um, and like I said, for Errol Spence, he still got Thurman, Porter, Garcia winner, you know, Terrence Crawford to deal with. So he, he needs to focus on that, which I'm sure he is. And Canelo needs to focus on his rematch with Gennady Golovkin, which I'm sure he is. But this is a fight that a year or two, year and a half, two years down the line, if everything falls into place and everybody handles their business, sign me up for it, man. Sign me up for it because that'll be a huge fight at 160. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. Give me your thoughts on this. Um, like I said, I'll post an interview um, from Fight Hub TV in the description below. I'll post all my social media um you know, links in the description below. Yeah, man, shout out to everybody that's uh, moving with us. Shout out to the movement. Shout out to 3 kingsboxingcom Check the website daily for your latest and greatest updated, unfiltered, and unbiased boxing news reported the way it should be. Until next time I'm out, peace.